Now it's time for my fantasy picks for week seven. But before we get to quarterback, receiver, and running back, let's look at the injury board. We start with Hamilton. Injuries alive. Andy Fantuz and CJ Gable both hurt their elbows. Still no John Cornish. And in Saskatchewan, Kevin Glenn, he's out for a while. Not good times in Saskatchewan. It's time for my picks for week seven. Let's start at the quarterback position where I like, no, I love Trevor Harris. Yes, Toronto lost, but the guy's piling up a lot of yards. And even more than Hamilton, no team in the CFL has a bigger gap between passing and running than the Toronto Argonauts. Even Ken Austin is telling Scott Milanovich, hey, maybe you should run the ball a little bit. But what does that mean? It means a lot of yards against a bad defense in Saskatchewan. Next up at running back, I'm going safe. I'm going Captain Obvious. I'm taking Andrew Harris for the BC Lions against Edmonton. I know the Eskimos have a great defense, but Andrew Harris is the most consistent running back in the CFL, and he's also good for average around four receptions per game. Next, at receiver, I'm gonna take Ernest Jackson, who had about 80, 84 yards in week one against the Alouettes defense, had the same totals last week. While a lot of attention is going on Chris Williams, look for one-on-one -on -one matchups, favorable matchups for Ernest Jackson, one of Henry Burris' favorite targets. At the flex, I'm gonna go with Luke Tasker. Call the man Linus because he is the safety blanket for Zach Caleros. He made his debut last week at home against the Argonauts, seven catches for over 70 yards. When it was second and five, second and 10, who did Caleros look for? He looked for Luke Tasker. And now with the injury status a little bit up in the air with Andy Fantuz, you can expect even more receptions and more targets for Luke Tasker. Oscar. Defense, I'm going to take Montreal. Love the Alouettes defense. Last time they played Ottawa, yes, they lost the game, but Henry Burris did cough up three interceptions. That can help you this week. A lot of big play potential for the Montreal defense against Ottawa's offense. At the kicker position, I love saying the guy's name. I love the fact that his value is low. Ronnie Pfeffer, the Argonauts kicker against Saskatchewan. What did we see last week? We saw a whole lot of yards from the Argos offense, not a lot of touchdowns. Not great for the Argos, great for the kicker. And who doesn't want to say, I got Pfeffer. Finally, my value guy. Take a look at Anthony Woodson. Who's Anthony Woodson? Well, he's the guy who had 54 yards running last week for the Ticats when CJ Gable went out early with an elbow injury. Gable's had injury issues for the last couple years. Woodson isn't exactly spectacular, but the guy runs hard. And we saw that even though they do like to pass, Ken Austin is starting to run the ball a little bit more. And with all those picks, you know how much money that equals out to? A million dollars, right on the nose. I absolutely nailed it. Maybe I'm feeling good because I went three and one last week. Anyway, if you want to contact us, at CFLs where you can tweet us, you can also tweet me at mcos56. Good luck with your picks. Good luck with your fantasy. Good luck with week seven. For CFL.ca, I'm Matthew Cause. A steady defense, in fact, better than a steady defense, one of the better defenses in the CFL. I'll take the Edmonton Eskimos.